So we need to add other effects for our projects in the future lessons. So for that, let's just first create a new index.html file. So, but first let's just open Visual Studio Code. And if you don't have Visual Studio Code already installed, you can, you can install it from VS Code download. Okay, let's just go to Google. Then we have here download and choose the, the operating system you are using. And you can just download it and install it, it's free. Okay, now let's just create a new index.html file. So we'll create a new file, index.html. And let's just add some code right here. And I will include the link main.css that will generate later. Okay, this is a simple project and I will add a hello world headline. Okay, and I will open that. Open this index.html in the browser. This is the Chrome browser, Google Chrome browser. Okay, but once I do any modification, okay, let's just increase the size a little bit. Once I do any modification here, so I need to refresh the page. And this is not uh, very productive. What I want to exactly do is first, I want after each modification of the HTML, so this thing is just do an auto refresh. Okay, and the second thing is let's just first create a new main.css file. So that will include the body selector and the background the red. And we will generate that file by using the main.css file and add a colon. Then the output will be the main.css and add the watch option. Then once we do we refresh the page manually, we'll just get the new the new style. Okay, if I want just to change the background to blue and auto refresh it again. Okay, uh, where is this color? Let's just go for FFF. Then I need to auto refresh that manually. So as you see here, so watching for modification for the SAS file, it is automatic by using the option watch. But what I want to add exactly is I want auto refresh. So for that, you can install the live server extension. So you can just go here in extension, then do the search like that live server and choose the first one. And this is just the logo. And it was created by Richwick, Richwick Day. So I hope I'm spelling the name correctly. And it just installed the extension. Once the extension is installed, you can use it. Let's just go now and go to the index.html and type command P from Mac, then this greater than symbol and open with live server. So as you see here, I have an open with live server and even I have a shortcut for that command L and command O and let's just select that manually. And as you see here, it's open my page right there. So and this include IP address, the local, the local IP, the local host IP address. Then we have a port and we have a message here. Server is solved at port 5500, which means that this project right there, this SAS project folder, and it's just live looted. And any page will be within this folder right here it will be just live reloaded now if i go there and i add sss so you will see that it is live reloaded and auto refreshed automatically without going there and just click on the refresh button so you don't have to do that to just keep auto refreshing automatically and the interesting thing is once i do any modification here and if I go for red, you see that the red is changed there because once I do the modifications, once I do the modification on a SAS file, it will be because we have here SAS watching for any modification and they generate the CSS file, generate the new CSS file. And this is um, the live server is watching for the modification inside the HTML file. So anything is changed, it will just be 
live reloaded. So you will need this functionality and you will see me uh, using this, 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 this extension right here for the next lesson. So feel free to install Visual Studio Code, then this extension right here, enable it, uh, enable it and stop using it and you will be very productive.